Hello and welcome to Watch Me Edit. Today I'm gonna show you how I turn this image into something like this. So let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is raise the shadows just so we have more details in them. Then bring down the highlight slider a tiny bit. Bring down the blacks. See wherever they clip. Don't want them to clip too much. That looks pretty good. The whites, I think I'm gonna leave the whites alone for this case. And then clarity, playing around with the clarity. I think it could really use some plus clarity. That works pretty well. Somewhere around 40 looks pretty good. Then contrast, playing around with the contrast. I think it could use a bit more contrast maybe around 15, 13, 15, something right like that. And then shadows, gonna bring them up all the way just so we have even more detail in the shadows. Then overall exposure, I think the overall exposure is good. I don't want it to look too bright because I kinda like this dark and mysterious look. Then vibrance. Actually, I think I'm gonna leave Vibrance as zero for now and maybe gonna play with that later. And then white balance, gonna play around with the white balance. I definitely think I'm gonna make it a bit warmer here. Yeah, something like that. Really not too much because that looks pretty good like this. Then tint, gonna play around with the tint as well. Maybe even gonna bring it more towards the green because then it looks even more saturated. I really don't like what the magenta does to this particular photo so I'm gonna bring it a tiny bit minus into the greens something like minus 14 works pretty well. Then down here at the tone curve I'm gonna play around with the highlight slider. Definitely like what this highlight slider does to the light back here just kind of gives it even more of a dramatic look than the lights down here oh they really have a huge difference for this photo yeah look at the vegetation right here when I bring the lights up I don't really like what it does back here because that's kind of too much but I really like the effect it has in front of here so I think I'm gonna reset the highlights maybe even gonna bring them down but it doesn't seem to do anything so I'm gonna just leave them at zero one of the few landscape photos I'm not gonna play around with the highlights actually in this uh, tonal curve section and then the darks darks I think maybe a tiny bit minus darks yeah, something like that. Then the shadows. Maybe a bit plus, something like plus 10. Alright, so down at the HSL tool, just gonna play around with the color tint, see if there's anything I like better than the current one. Mm, I think I like the default. Then saturation. I think I'm gonna leave saturation where it was right now as well. And luminance. I think I might bring up the luminance a tiny bit. Yeah, something like that. Then split toning, probably gonna be a huge difference. Yeah, definitely. I definitely want the warm light to kind of come in somewhere in the orange field. Let's see here. See the difference? Here's without any orange in the highlight split toning. And here's with a lot of orange. Really gives a beautiful look to those vegetation and those leaves right here in front. Definitely gonna add some, make sure it's not too much. So it still looks natural. Maybe even more towards the red. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Then the shadows, don't know if I'm gonna do anything to the shadows, just kind of see if there's anything I like. Nah, I really think I'm gonna leave the shadows at zero. So here next thing is the detail tool, gonna zoom in one to one, 
gonna see if there's any sharpening needed and I think it could use some sharpening let's see here 70 looks pretty good maybe even a bit less just so it doesn't look like it's too much so it still looks natural then I'm gonna zoom out back again and masking slider to the right hold down the all key everything that's white is gonna be sharpened yeah I think I'm gonna mask somewhere around 80 that works pretty well then color noise reduction always increase the color noise reductions what this does is it gets rid of the purple and green sensor noise spots you often see in the shadows while not affecting the overall color too much almost nothing at all actually alright that looks pretty good so let's go down here to the lens correction module I'm definitely gonna go to profile enable profile correction let me see what lens I take in this with the 50 millimeter 1.4 yeah and what this does is just removes all of the vignetting and all of the distortion of the lens then I'm gonna go to color and remove chromatic aberration that looks pretty good then I think I'm gonna add some post crop vignetting on the effects tool let me see here yeah definitely like what this does gives it a kind of a bit more attention towards the center I think that works pretty well. A minus 27 is quite a lot. I don't do this on many of my pictures. Then down here at the camera calibration tool, just go through the profile, see if there's anything I like better. That kind of gives it more of a pop, but at the same time oversaturates it and kind of uh, makes it a bit too bright. So I'm not gonna choose the landscape camera profile just play around with it and I think this one kinda looks good camera standards Adobe standard I think I'm gonna roll with this one camera standard that looks pretty well then here at the sliders just gonna play around with all of the sliders I think I'm gonna reset this one and then the red hue let's see here not really anything I like then the saturation of the reds maybe even increase that a little bit yeah this without this with a bit increased really not that big of a difference the green hue hmm maybe a bit towards the right I think that works pretty well here's at zero and here's a bit to the right then the green saturation mm, I don't think I'm gonna mess with that so I'm gonna reset that then the blue primary this often has a huge difference to the overall colors even if there's no visible blue like a blue sky or a lake in the picture so always want to make sure that you actually play around with the blue slider I might go minus a tiny bit like minus 7 here and saturation mm, I think I'm gonna leave it where it was maybe give it a tiny bit of a plus somewhere like plus 8 alright so we're done with the global adjustment so now we're gonna do the adjustments that just affect a tiny part of the image here I'm gonna choose a radial filter just drag it over this bright thing right there then kinda lower the exposure a tiny bit kinda decrease the saturation yeah that looks pretty good maybe even add a bit of magenta in the tint let's see here if we can use any color temperature difference mm, I think I'm gonna actually go towards the blue a little bit let's see here even less exposure and then go to the color right here and add some orange just so it more looks like the warm light is coming from there make sure it's not too red yeah I think that works pretty well so next thing I'm gonna do is just kind of make some dodge and burning I often use the radial filter to do dodge and burning but for this picture I really think 
the adjustment brush would work way better just because there's so many little detail thingies and I'm gonna play around with different sizes so the adjustment brush would just make it easier make sure the feather is to a hundred then I'm first of all gonna drop the exposure and just kinda paint on the already darker non-lit exposure elements um, leaves and stuff just so it kinda gives it more of a local contrast and kind of a more of a difference in the exposure something like that and I'm gonna make it even bigger to kinda draw even more of a vignetting up here maybe not that much so I'm gonna hold down the old key so I'll get to the minus yeah something like that then I'm gonna create the new brush make it plus exposure maybe even gonna add some clarity make sure it's not too big and just kind of paint on the already bright subjects and places and vegetation of the picture make sure this isn't too much this kind of looks way too overblown over the top so something like that for the first brush here a bit of plus exposure then here some more and here on the leaves that looks pretty well then I'm gonna create another one and go a bit more plus 40 instead of the plus 20 exposure sorry 0 0.20 and 0 0.40 exposure and just kinda draw it over here to the kind of darker parts could use even more exposure here something like that then here gonna even add kind of a big area a little bit plus exposure and the leaves could use even more in my opinion yeah that looks pretty well then I actually think I'm gonna add some warm light here make sure it's not too much just kind of bit of orange tones and I'm gonna do that with the other adjustment brush where we had plus exposure if I can get the reds away alright so I'm gonna add some orange here as well make sure it's not too much yeah something like that then I'm gonna create another adjustment brush plus exposure and just kind of paint over this way this path here something like that plus exposure even more and then gonna play around with the color mm. Let's see if I'm gonna add anything here. I think I'm gonna add some orange here as well, just to kind of differentiate the vegetation from the path even more. Something like that. Yeah, that works pretty well. Then I'm gonna create another one, plus exposure for in front of here. And even here, that's kind of too much, so I'm gonna remove some of that over there yeah that looks pretty well then I'm gonna create another adjustment brush go down in exposure again and just kinda repaint over the dark spots see wherever I want the parts of the image a bit br a bit darker sorry and see what looks best here over here I think towards the edge here I could use even more darkness so I'm gonna add another adjustment brush even more minus darkness and paint over here make sure it's not too much yeah something like that make sure it looks all natural create another one it's really a process of detail adjustments and just seeing whatever works best for the picture and yeah we're actually pretty much done let me just check around with the vibrance if I could use a bit more plus vibrance I think a tiny bit of plus vibrance wouldn't hurt that works pretty well and I'm actually gonna add another adjustment brush and even add more dodging making parts of the image darker just kind of the branches over here so there's even less attention on those and more towards the center 
let's see here. Yeah, that works pretty well. And I think I am done. Here's the image without any adjustments. Just kind of looks a bit dark, a bit not so special, a bit flat. And here's the after. Really a totally different mood. You may say it's overdone, over edited right now if you see the comparison side by side. But once you look at it for like a few minutes, you will not notice any like unnatural parts, at least in my opinion. I like this way better than the original. Of course, if you don't like to do it as much, you always can adjust and just kind of add like half of the exposure, half of the vibrance that I did. So it looks closer to something like the original file. This was Watch Me Edit number 6. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. If you found this video helpful, please leave me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that a lot. And if you have any ideas or any suggestions for videos I could make, like if you have a question about editing something specific in landscapes or a feature in Lightroom, and would like to see a tutorial or get my opinion about it, just leave me a comment down below. And last but not least, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos just like this, more in-depth tutorials and guides about landscape, Lightroom, all kind of stuff. I want to thank you so much for watching my video. Again, this is just kind of fast-paced. I have a lot of tutorials where I go way more in depth about things, about edits, about um, different sliders and why I do the adjustments and what effect they have, etc. So if you would like to see tutorials or other guides, I'm gonna put the playlist with my kind of slower paced videos in the description below. Thank you very much for watching, keep on shooting and have an amazing day.